What is a batholith? A batholith is a large, dome-shaped rock formation that is formed from a massive intrusion of magma into the Earth's crust. Batholiths are the largest and most intrusive type of plutonic rock formations, and are generally composed of a variety of minerals including feldspar, quartz, mica, and hornblende. Batholiths typically form as the result of intense geological activity, such as subduction or continental collision. When magma rises from deep within the Earth's mantle and begins to cool and solidify beneath the Earth's surface, it can form a batholith. The slow cooling of the magma allows large mineral crystals to form, creating a coarse grain texture that distinguishes batholiths from other types of igneous rocks. Batholiths can be found all around the world, and many are associated with mountain ranges or other areas of intense tectonic activity. Some of the most well-known batholiths include the Sierra Nevada batholith in California, the Coast Mountains batholith in British Columbia, and the Peninsular Ranges batholith in Mexico. Batholiths can also have significant economic importance, as they often contain valuable mineral deposits such as gold, silver, and copper. In addition, the distinctive and durable nature of batholiths makes them popular building materials for monuments and other structures. Overall, batholiths are a fascinating geological phenomenon that provide insight into the complex processes that shape our planet's surface. How is a batholith formed? A batholith is formed from the solidification and crystallization of magma deep beneath the Earth's surface. The process of batholith formation is a complex and long-term geological process that involves several stages. The first stage in the formation of a batholith is the generation of magma deep within the Earth's mantle. This process occurs when high temperatures and pressures cause rocks to melt and form liquid magma. The magma then rises toward the Earth's surface, either by pushing its way through cracks and fractures in the crust or by being carried upward by tectonic forces. As the magma rises, it begins to cool and solidify. If the magma cools rapidly and forms a solid mass near the Earth's surface, it is known as an extrusive igneous rock, such as basalt or pumice. However, if the magma cools slowly and solidifies deep beneath the Earth's surface, it forms an intrusive igneous rock, such as granite or gabbro. In the case of a batholith, the magma cools very slowly over a period of millions of years. The slow cooling allows the minerals within the magma to crystallize and grow into large, visible grains. This results in a coarse grain texture and distinct mineral composition that characterizes batholiths. Over time, tectonic forces and erosion can expose the batholith at the Earth's surface. Batholiths are often associated with mountain ranges and are frequently found near the roots of ancient volcanic systems. They can be exposed by erosion, which removes the overlying rock, or by tectonic uplift, which raises the rock to the surface. Batholiths can also be associated with mineral deposits, as the slow cooling and crystallization of magma can result in the concentration of valuable minerals such as gold, silver, and copper. In summary, batholiths are formed by the slow cooling and crystallization of magma deep beneath the Earth's surface, over a period of millions of years. This process results in the distinctive texture and mineral composition that characterizes batholiths, and their exposure at the Earth's surface can have important economic and geological implications. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.